It's Friday, which means it's time for Totally Fucked Up Friday, where I present you with undeniable evidence that the world really is totally fucked up. And this week's video is dedicated to one person, Australian Prime Minister Kevin Rudd. And I'm dedicating this to him because he is just turning into an absolutely spineless, totally fucked up coward who won't stand for anything that seems even mildly controversial. Now, anyone who knows me knows my politics are much closer to the Labour Party than their Conservative opposition, the Liberals and Nationals in Australia. But I am not one of those people who just goes along a party line and we go, oh no, don't criticise our guy, because then the only alternative is that guy who's worse. And yes, Tony Abbott's a fucking brain-dead lying piece of shit who would be far worse, but I refuse to give Rudd a free ride for the shit he's been going on with lately. There's a whole bunch of things I could pick on, but I'm going to limit myself to the two that are pissing me off the most. I'm going to start with a big one that's been getting a lot of media coverage here. The way Rudd has backed away with his already weak plans for an emission trading scheme to combat global warming, climate change, all those issues. Uh, you can call it carbon trading, he called it emission trading. Basically, look, just as a side note, the fact that any sort of carbon trading plan is probably complete bullshit, that's a subject for a completely different video, because I do think the idea of carbon trading is bullshit. But this already weak proposal has just been completely abandoned just because uh, weak-minded people are going, I don't know if climate change is real. Look, you fucking weak-minded fool. The science is even more conclusive. The evidence just keeps mounting up. Just because mindless fucking brain-dead talking heads in media keep going on and on, repeating this conservative line. Fuck, grow some balls and stand up, you spineless git. And what really blows my mind, in his own words, only about a year ago, he described the need to take this on as the great moral challenge of this generation, and when the opposition said, oh no, let's just wait and see what everyone else did, he, he called it an act of political cowardice. And now he's decided to go, oh, let's just wait and see what everyone else did. So in your own fucking words, Rudd, you're a fucking coward! And another issue that's got a lot less media attention here, although it's very big online, and I'm frequently asked, hey, how's that government plan for censoring the internet going? Well, they've decided not to introduce the legislation before a federal election, which is due later this year. And for anyone who can't pick it, the reason is because they're now starting to realise it's hanging around their neck like a dead weight, and it would be one more thing that could work against them electorally. The only people backing it, ultra-fucking fringe Christian groups, are so little in the way of influencing the Labour vote, they're not worth anything. But now with Everyone who knows anything about the online world knows that uh, the government proposal won't work. It won't stop kiddie porn or other bad things. They will end up blocking things that shouldn't be blocked. And it will fuck up the internet speeds. And Stephen fucking Conroy just keeps parroting blatant lies. And it's just driving me crazy. And now again, in an act of complete cowardice, they've gone, Oh, this isn't going to work in our favour, is it? Let's just back off until the election is over. Oh my god! It's just the absolute cowardice! Either put up or shut up! Don't put to the side because it's slightly troublesome and see if you can sneak it along later. You fucking cowards! Oh, and liberal voters can just shut the fuck up with saying that proves the liberals are the right one. No, I fucking hate Abbott and everything that lying sack of shit stands for. Honestly, don't mind your politics, your choice. Don't tell me the fact that Rudd's a fuckwit means Abbott's great. Abbott's fucking worse. Oh, and the global warming deniers who are already jumping on Rudd backing away from his emission trading schemes, they're actually saying that proves global warming's not serious. You fucking morons! All it proves is Rudd's a spineless little wimp and you're brain-dead fucking morons who think politics is more important than science. Oh my god, I was pissed off enough at Rudd just for being a coward, but now it's given fuel to these fucking moron global warming deniers to mouth off even more! 